I'm roaming around the city. I found a new Tex-Mex restaurant. And being from Texas, I think I should have a little bit of a good opinion on that. I'm at South Point in Salisbury at the Mitt Cafe. I have Eni and Peter, who are the owners and head chef. And really, it's your shop. I know, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you got it. All right, so Peter, you guys have this awesome burrito that's one of your hot cells. Let's get into that. I'm going to let you prepare about that. Eni, tell me a little about it. Okay, so this is our big Tex-Mex burrito. It was invented by my uncle. It's a big seller here. All the ingredients we make fresh here. We have our fresh beef. You'll see small pieces of potato in it. We have our refried beans, which are made from scratch and then refried here. And then we have our homemade Spanish rice, which is a good old favorite recipe of my mom's. And it's made with basmati rice. We top it with our fresh toppings, tomato, hand shredded cheese, and our house marinated cabbage. Then to make it even better, on top of it goes our house-made queso and a little more beef, because, I mean, a little more meat can't hurt, right? I have never been one to complain about more meat. So as he's working on that, let's get a little bit about this restaurant. It's such an awesome decor around here. It definitely gives the Tex-Mex appeal. Tell me about that. So uh, we all came up with this design together as a family. It was very important for us to represent where we're from, which is from Michigan. We have, Florida's been our home for about 12 years, but we still love our home state, which is why it's called the Mitt. And then, of course, for it just feel like home for us. Since you're here a lot, it's like your second home. So we all played a very important part in that. All right, so I'm going to dip a little bit to the left. Uh, Michigan, Tex-Mex, correlation, explain. Okay, so my grandparents, my grandma, my grandpas, they are from Texas originally. San Marcos, San Antonio. That's where we get the Tex-Mex flavor. Represent. Yes. <laughs> so that's where that is inspired from. And there are pictures on the wall. They're a big part of why we did this. So bringing it to Michigan, where we migrated to, that's the kind of food we grew up eating. And then we brought it to Florida. So you here got, it is. You guys are a big brunch, lunch kind of crowd. To emphasize that, you've got like a little intimate setting. If people want to have like meetings or if they just want to kind of get away from the crowd, tell me about your nook. Definitely. The little nook provides you a little bit of privacy. It can seat up to about eight people. And it allows you to be able to just sit and talk, a little bit of quiet. Also, if you want to have meetings there, it's worked out great for that for people. Family owned. Why did you guys decide to launch your own business? Because we couldn't go anywhere to find food like ours. <laughs> so we would always cook it at home. So we decided to branch out as a family together and say, let's make our own food and see if other people like it. And it's gone really well for us. Well, I should say so, because there aren't really, a, like you'll hear about a Mexican restaurant or, you know, but true Tex-Mex. And people don't understand what Tex-Mex is. And looking at this burrito, I think you got it. Now, the guac, cilantro, sauces. These are all options that you can have to either add to the burrito on top of it or inside of it. And they're obviously the granny guac is made fresh here every day guys have done it well. So if you guys want to know more about the Mitt Cafe, stop in for yourself. You can find out information at rivercitylivetv.com. Uh, I'm going to dig into this a little bit.